Why hello there! Are you a lower ranked player in Valorant? Do you have games where you play very inconsistently and go rounds without getting a kill? Well, this video is for you when you are desperate or you just feel like trolling. All the rap plays that I like to use on every single map. Okay, first one. Super obvious, but it still freaking works every single time when I'm in an iron, bronze, or silver lobby. Just judge hookah or shorty hookah. Literally both work. If they go through hookah really often, you can have another teammate standing here on top of this box. Just judge both sides. They can only look at one side at a time. Even if they raise grenade, it's only gonna hit one of you guys. And honestly, usually it won't hit you entirely. You can move up to this box. Here, I li we literally got like a 4K, just a friend and I judging here like two days ago. You also have some sort of possibility like on, on B, like here and then being able to teleport or just like kind of in this corner, but it's more risky and not as many people go long. It's like, and kind of, it's kind of a wider angle as well. Other great places to judge or Odin, whatever you feel like, crouch here. If they're slow, come here, get them early. If you don't have time, go up on that box with a bigger gun. Only problem is like, if you're standing there or if you're standing here, once they've entered, if they enter a different side and you're standing here and now they're on site, you are kind of screwed if you've only got a short range gun. But you can get a free easy kill and trade yourself off if you're just playing like shit. Also, they come through U-Haul. It's another spot. But here is particularly unsafe because they can come through bath and they'll see you immediately. Okay, let's get into let's get into post plant. Okay, okay, let's talk about post post plant on A. My favorite spot is here. There's, there's like two very basic spots. You plant the spike here or somewhere along here. You hide in bars. You can go as far back as you want. You can watch flank here. The only issue is they usually will know if you're here. It's perfect for one-on-one -on -one situations, but if they have two people, if it's a 2v1, uh, they can have someone watching, watching bars, someone um, diffusing. So you are in a tr tricky situation here. Same thing goes with planting, with planting here. Oops, we're planting yeah. here, hiding here, planting here, hiding you hole like this. They're like, there's options, um, but you can very easily get uh, double peaked and pushed out of it. And then in B, my favorite spot, planting here. Planting here gives you a lot of options because you can go back and hide a new hole if you've got time. You can go B long. B long works, especially if they run out of time because you can instantly use the teleport so that you don't get blown up by the bomb. And then if you don't have a lot of time, here's a really like good ratty spot because you can see directly there. But I want to show you a very cool, a very cool trick that I saw on TikTok that I wanted to try out. In theory, you see the little circle in the map? That is where you can be heard from. And that's like, so that's where you, your footsteps can be heard from. So apparently with your Molly, if you look directly up, and you use that circle as a reference, you walk and you go directly up, the molly should go exactly onto the spike. So like, don't even learn lineups anymore. Um, literally just do that. So if you've got some really annoying flankers and you aren't playing very well on entry and you just wanna get a pick for your team, uh, I'm gonna be going through some spots that are pretty good on counter flank. So for example, if your team is going to B and people like to rotate through A, Depends. They go long. You can always hide up here, which like no one ever expects really. And then if you hear them, you can also jump down here when they're looking back. But if you hear them walking past, they'll obviously right be looking in that direction. You can jump down, you can shoot them. Do -do 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 -do. Easy. You can also see them if they come through here. And that works even if you're going A, right? Because if you just go through A short and they're coming through baths to flank, you can stand up here. You can watch this position. If you hear them coming that way, you can watch this position. So I really like that spot. Watching here is good. Up here, holding this corner. If you've got a judge, holding this corner. Let's say you're in a post plot situation and um, you know, you're the last one alive. You can really hide anywhere back here. You know, you can hide like over here, right here. like anywhere, right? If you've got server's alt, just get one of your team members to ping right the spike. Here. And then all you have to do when they defuse, you just... 
All right, so when it comes to ratty defense spots on A, first one I go to is wine. Uh, you do need to smoke it out though because people push really fast through there and we'll see you going to wine. But if you can get here without them noticing, it's really easy because they'll all be here looking to heaven, looking both sides. You just pop out. They're literally all just in this hallway. Another place you can go is like if you have a... Um, if you have any sort of thing that lets you like jump, right? Like a jet, like jet or rays or omen teleport, something like that, you can go up there. Or you can also just hide behind this because they'll only see you when the, cause like the main rule is that the first person in usually tries to close that door. So you can catch people from closing the door, which gives your, you know, your teammates time to rotate in. And then if they're big mid players, oh yeah. Also, before the closing door, you can hide here because you'll catch them, you know, ready to press the button. Because, like, in lower ranks, they'll be, like, hyper-focused on just trying to press the button so you can catch them off guard and shoot them here when they're trying to close the door there. And if you've got people that come through mid a lot, this little cubby is very comfy, but you can get locked out from A. But if they're going mid a lot, and if they come down catwalk, come through here, you can shoot them off. Or you can peek out if they're going to market or through B, and it also makes for a quick flank if they are going to be. And then, if they start expecting that corner, you can start, like, going here, that kind of thing. All right, defensive spot. Mm -hmm. All right, on B, most obvious spot here, shorty. Let's go. I've got this really stupid clip of me, like, just standing here as three people like walk past and don't check this corner, but I really mess it up. My favorite spot to um, to rat on B is this spot because when people are coming out of market, they'll be, when people come out of market here, they'll usually be watching these spots and these spots. So when they jump down, they usually be like this, right? And if you're in this little corner here, you'll see them and you can just shoot them as they're coming out because they usually won't be watching this little corner. And also people, no, either they either like like if they're viper like they'll wall smoke this whole thing off which just means you can spray through it when they're walking down this hallway another spot if they start expecting that is here because you can watch market but you can also watch if they push through this way um. and then if they're mid market pushes Bye, my friend. Follow you and watch you. Oh, thank you, Lance. I hope they enjoy the content. <laughs> um, yeah, next thing, if the uh, people that push through market really often, uh, you can sit back here. Because a lot of the time, you know, they'll want to be watching here. They'll be watching here. There's a lot of angles that they need to check. So this one's kind of one of the last ones, especially like if they do this often, it's a good spot to hold. And also if they have um, like marshals or oppers in mid, coming through here to hide can be a little bit risky. Um, so back here is just a lot safer and you can get there before the match starts. And then I don't actually have any good post plant ideas for B. Let's try the... Um, Okay, this is my favorite, this is my favorite um, post plant spot. So a lot of people will plant here, which makes sense if you're, um, if you don't have full control over the site just yet, uh, but it's really hard to defend honestly, because there aren't a lot of places you can hide and then peek this very easily from. Um, and a lot of people will go under here and plant there, which makes it really difficult because then you have to go here and here to get to the defuse. So if I am playing from this, from the hell position, I'll plant here. Because from this position, I can, I can, I can see it from here. But also I'm showing off very, like I've got a very small angle. So people, like it's harder for people to catch me. And because it's not a conventional place, people are less likely to like expect it planted there, which will throw them off a little bit. So this is where I usually hide for that kind of plant. But my favorite is planting here. 
Here. And then going into wine, because wine is like one of the only places in all of the Valorant maps that literally just has like one side that can hit you from. Um, you can literally just hide here. This is the only angle they can come from. You can watch, you can peek out and watch this spot if they're flanking. And if they're defusing, you are right here. They'll usually expect Boathouse or, or, or somewhere else in the map. Um, you usually just come here and you go pew pew and they can't get the defuse. Also, it makes it much easier to escape if they're not getting the defuse compared to being in hell. Cause if you're in hell, you're pretty much just dying with the bomb. Say so your friend plants, but yeah. So if you're back here, see if that works. I'm kind of just learning <laughs> myself right now. Oh, it does. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Yeah, on on B, like you're either gonna have to go into boathouse and get stuck with the bomb if you want to be directly there. Or like, um, or you can just play all the way back. I feel like playing main on market isn't very ratty. So, yeah, I guess that lineup works really well though. Let's say you've got control of the site as well. You're on attacking and people flank very often. Most of the defensive spots work the same, like this on one. Oh, no, <laughs> like those work really well. Um, but also if they flank through your spawn or through mid, you can hide in here because you'll hear them if they go through there and you'll see them if they come through this way. We are now going to get into the defense spots on Bind. I really enjoy... So if you're in a position where you just feel like you need to play like a rat because you're just not getting anywhere, I feel like the best way to start is to save a little bit by a judge, a bucky, or even a shorty if you're doing really bad on econ. So first place is garage. You can go here in the door. The thing about rat plays, they only really work once and people will get very annoyed at you. So they'll always check that location. So once you've gone here first, maybe you start here, then you want to move here. And then maybe you want to move here. Then maybe you want to move here. You know, the only thing you have to be worried about is this location. So either you have someone watching it or you smoke it off, you smoke here. You know what I'm saying? There's a few more spots like C main, but because they're a little bit larger, the best way to play the rat position in this way is to have someone on the opposite yeah. side as you as well with two guns so that they can't look both ways and they can't, they usually don't have enough util to use both ways. The idea of playing like a rat is literally just pick a corner that people don't usually check on lower ranked levels and catch them off guard, get a couple picks, get one or two picks. Then second place is sewers. This place is pretty common going here when they come through sewers. Bonk, you got them dead. You can also do here. You want to switch it up because they're going to start expecting it if you're doing this through multiple rounds um, here as well. Once again, the only problem is if they go through uh, like main and not sewers or long, uh, you're kind of screwed because then they'll be on site. They'll be able to see you. you might be able to get a pick, but if you're too far away, then post plant on A. Uh, this like the hell spot is actually really open. You can't really hide in it the same way you can as in like boathouse on ascent. So I don't usually like this spot just because you're so open to long. People can come around, they can, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, grenade in there. So what I prefer is to plant open something like this. And then you can hide here. So you can watch this, you can watch the flank. And then when they, when they come here, you can just shoot there. You can even, if you are playing Vi Viper, you can, you can smoke, smoke out heaven, and then get someone to ping the spike for you. Let's say last one live, yeah. get someone to ping the spike. You just shoot in that direction when you hear someone uh, diffusing. That way it's much harder to double peek you. Another spot, you know, if they get really used to that and expect you there is sewers because you can just kind of go around here, shoot like that. Mainly what I do on C is I plant long and I go hide in cubby. But if you are pushed further in, it is possible to plant here and then hide in their spawn. You can catch you can catch a lot of people off guard on a rotate in that case if you get an early plant. The most clear one is planting for heaven over there. Plant here. Thing is, if you plant here, let's say you plant here and then you run up here. You watch this spot, you watch this spot, you watch this spot. And then, but you, you don't peek until you hear, until you hear them diffuse. And then you go like that and then you hide again. Cause the, the point is that if you get picked, if you, if you go here and you go all in 
crouch, whatever, uh, and then they kill you, they can get the they can get the diffuse for free, right? But if they know you're there, they're going to have a really hard time sticking it. If you've got some really annoying flankers on Haven, which is pretty common because there's three sites. Um, I like to play here because then you can catch people coming through here. You can catch people coming through here. Also, like playing up here. You can catch you can catch C and mid from this spot. First one I use is here. If I can get here, that is. Um, sometimes a Euro TP or flash or something like that will make it easier. Second one is something like this or up there, but up there's uh, more common. So also like this box because it will hide you from heaven if they're walking up heaven. Next rep play, mid. If you've got time and they aren't pushing too hard, Here's good. This little box can be good. They they can usually grenade it though. And if this part doesn't work, you can go this right here, catch them going up the stairs. And then if they're pushing really, really hard and those things haven't worked, go here. Because they'll be, they'll, what they'll usually do, right? Is they'll be walking, they'll check this corner. And by the time that they're walking and checking that corner, you can kind of peek out, pew, pew, easy. So a lot of people, a lot of people plant here, which is really good, especially if you're still competing for site, obviously. Like, if you've got people that are rotating over, um, this is pretty protected from flank or the corridor or heaven. But if you have more control over the site, it's kind of, it can be better to plant somewhere like this, because then you can watch from heaven. I also like watching in this little cubby because it's more ratty. Like you can kind of hide here, catch anyone rotating from here. And then if they start diffusing and spikes are right there, you're like pew, 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 pew. And then, well, the last things, counter flank. Two is obviously, hold it here, hold it here, wait for them to come out, pew, pew, whatever. You can change, let's say you've got someone on the other team that flanks every single round, like an annoying neon or something. Here, here. Go down here. They'll they'll have to check every single corner if they know that you're freaking ratting on the anti flank every single time or counter flank or whatever. Back here, we they walk out. You know, just hide in this corner. <laughs> it's quite predictable. I've seen some people like climb up here before people can expect it. You know. So if you're playing in a lobby where no one's really using the box and people don't expect it, it can be cool. And then if they're super rush, if they like really, really rush, always watch mid like this. They usually wall, so it's kind of difficult to stop a uh, plant. But if you can catch them before the wall, you can always get a pick. Also, sometimes if you just want to catch people off guard, just get a kill and trade yourself out. Uh, just hide in this box. Just hide in here. Wait for the plant. Wait for someone to either come around to you. We pick here. One off guard, get a pick. Wow, you know what? At least I'm going 1-1. One, one. At least I'm not going negative. That's just, that. that's that's the, that's the goal here. Also, if they rush A, you can always hide in this corner here because they're usually going to go for the plant yeah. here. So if they expect that the site is entirely clear, forget to check angles and instantly start uh, planting, then you can, you can literally just get the pick give your other teammates time to rotate over. Post plant, that's pretty obvious, but you know, it works. Everyone just plants here. Some people do plant inside this box, but uh, I just see everyone just like, you, you know, they just like sage wall here, plant here. Again, you just hide in this box. You're watching flank. And uh, if they just, if they start diffusing, you just peek it and you just shoot it. If you've got the time, plant open for heaven. And that way, especially, especially if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, this spot can be great because you can just sit back there, spook them. Um, and it's really hard to hold a defuse when you know that someone can just peek you and then instantly kill you. If you don't have time for that kind of thing, um, hide it, like uh, planting in one of these corners, like this corner, for example, and then, Hiding in this corner can work or planting like in this corner and then hiding in that corner, like that kind of thing. People just don't have like good headphone awareness or something, but if you plant in an unconventional spot, a lot of new people will run around like, wait, where's the spike? OMG, I can hear it beeping, but I don't see it. So it can give you that extra few seconds of confusion. 
for counter flank on this map, I usually just sit here and then if they start expecting it, I'll just go down and sit a bit closer because you can see B from here and you can also see mid. And then if you're going B and you've got a dirty neon that always bloody flanks, just hide in this box. You got them here, they walk through here, you can just peek them, bam! Da -da -da -da. is they're always going a you're like trying to play you know kind of normal you're always getting picked off rat time here's a normal a pretty usual place to hide a lot of people will like molly here or blind here when they're going in so you just try and hold as close as possible and then if that's not working and you want to also hold doors and main uh, I like to crouch in this spot you can also see hallway if they're going up through holes and they open this door you can catch them here, you can catch them on doors, and if they're planting, you can just peek out here and shoot here. And then a lot of people also will come back and plant on this side. So this corner, very annoying. This is a good rat corner. But I use this one the most often because um, you can sort of do it from mid. A little ratty spot for when you're playing against people that like to use hall and you don't have like someone on your team that enjoys like, I don't know, marshalling or something, this spot, waiting for them to come through. Or if you hear them, if they use the door often, also going like here, pushing in or here. I mean, switching it up is best because after you do it the first time, they're gonna expect, they're always gonna expect that you're playing like a rat. If you don't have control over defender's side, usually on post plant, I'll just hide here, watch the two flanks, and then go like this, and then shoot them when they try and defuse. But if you're able to get like, I don't know, back in here, and you can watch these two, that can also work. Post plant on B. You're planning here, planning for main, either going all the way back there, behind that box or going here and watching the tunnel, watching both. This box also works. It's like not too difficult to um, line up a molly for that or just shoot, get your friends to ping the spike. And then also just playing behind this wall as well if you don't have time. Like let's say they're already flanking from there if you don't have time, I use this wall and then I peek this way. So you Honestly, the best rep position is this place because when you can hear someone going through that the corridor, you can come here and shoot them as they're flanking and looking back that way. And if they come through along this way, then you're holding this angle. Um, so yeah, and that will cover both because go through hall or anything like that, they're gonna have to go through either way. So yeah. All right, and then if you're watching flank on this side, I usually like to hide in here because some people that are crazy will go all the way through this strange hallway thing, but most people will come through mid and then go up this way. Some people go through elbow, so if you can hold you can hold this, you can see if they go through elbow, see if they go through mid. Then also if you've got crazies that come through this way, then you can look that you can watch that and hold that angle as well. So Ratty defensive positions on A. First one is this, if they always go main, but you would need someone watching up here or have it smoked, something like that, because they can literally just see you and shoot you, but this place is good, they push main a lot. Uh, next one that's further in is up here, because then you can watch this better as well. Next one, up here, you can shoot them if they pick their little head, but you can also shoot them here if they're coming up that way. Another defensive spot that I like to take if they use, if they take dish a lot is the majority of people just go up that way, right? So you can hide on this side. So you can catch them just walking through here, but you can also catch them just walking up and check, like if, you, if you've been playing like a rat in this spot, um, a lot of them will like instantly like, right, go to check this. But if you're here, easy pick. Once again, playing like a dirty rat. We love this. Another thing I enjoy doing is if they are pushing main. You know, sometimes people come through this hallway, but a lot of times they don't. Just pushing like something like that, a molly, whatever it is, and then shooting them through the defensive spots on this side. Like you can just hold this, um, but for like extra impact using this, 
walling through here. This gives you like an extra kind of rat wall to hide behind. However, if they do go through this direction and no one's watching, then you are just out in the open. So another option on this site is like by plant. So when they get closer into site, you are just, you're here and you're ready. And then another one is in here, but a lot of people will like hold this angle, but a lot of people expect it obviously when they come out. So I'd rather hold here, have them not know that you're here. You can use a shorty or a judge. And then when they come up the rope, you can immediately shoot them here. And this also works great on post plant, honestly. This is a good post plant spot because it's big enough to the point where if someone mollies you or rays grenades you, you can usually get out of the way by like through this corner. And you know, there's two sides to watch, but if you've got a smoke or a wall or anything like this, you can wall it off and you can hide quite deep in here. So it's much harder for them to grenade you out. And then you can like, you can plant really anywhere in view here, get someone to, um, like even if they smoke it, you just get someone to uh, ping the spike for you on the map. Get yeah. one of your teammates to ping the spike and then you can just shoot wherever it is. And um, the post plant that I generally use, um, like if it's not something general like this, uh, if you can plant in the open, using main will uh, mean that like, you're not as easily like uh, grenaded out because when you're in there, it's a lot more difficult to like save yourself. So if you plant open, you can hide here, watch this side, and then if they defuse, you can shoot here. The only thing with a couple of these post plants is that you can get sage walled out. That's the only thing you need to worry about really is counter flank on B. I really enjoyed this spot because I mean, you can watch tunnel if they're coming through tunnel, but also, if they're coming through like that way, this box will hide you so that you can just catch them while they're... Because like as they're coming this way, right, they're revealing themselves onto the site. So if you're here, it's like an easy pick. Thank you for watching my incredibly informative video on how to play like a rat. And I hope that um, everyone that plays against you now hates you. Because that is the point of playing like a rat. Get them tilted. Bring the morale down, get your morale up, and win. Thank you very much for watching.